Now this question number three is very interesting question. It requires a lot of calculation and a lot of analysis. So we are given this function defined on 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. So it is defined on the square. between 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 and we are given this function fx as x cube by 3 minus x square plus 5x by 9 plus 17 by 36. Now clearly if we find f0, f0 is 17 by 36 which is nearly 0 0.47 and if we find f1 f1 will be 1 by 3 minus 1 plus 5 by 9 plus 17 by 36 now this value will come out as 13 by 36 which is nearly 0.36 and if we differentiate this function f dash x will be x square minus 2x plus 5 by 9 and if we put it equals to 0 now we add 1 and subtract 1 so we get x minus 1 square equals 4 by 9 or x is simply 1 minus 2 by 3 that is x equals 1 by 3. We have discarded the value which is greater than 1. So we also need to find f 1 by 3. Now if we would put x as 1 by 3 it will be lengthy calculation but you get f 1 by 3 as 181 by 324. which is nearly 0.56. So within this square, we have our function whose value at 0 is 0 0.47. So we have this value which is 17 by 36. And at 1, this value is 0.36. So it will be a little lower than this. So say this point, and this is 13 by 36. Now this f dash x has two roots 1 plus 2 by 3 and 1 minus 2 by 3. So this is 1 by 3, and this is 5 by 3. This is plus, minus, and plus. So this point it is a point of maxima. So at 1 by 3, it will have its maximum value and this value is nearly 0 0.56. So it will have its maximum value somewhere here and this value is 181 by 324. So it will attain its maximum and then it will go down to this value. So this is your function fx. This is your function y equals fx. Now it says if y is greater than fx, it is called the green region, and if y is less than fx, it is called the red region. So this region of the square which is above this curve, it is your green region. And the region which lies below the curve of this square it is your red region so we have this much information now then it says let LH be a line drawn at this height H line between 0 and 1 then which of the following statements are true now it says this H it lies between 1 by 4 and 2 by 3 so this line, it can lie between 1 by 4 and 2 by 3. So 1 by 4 is 0 0.25, which is less than 0 0.36. So the range of this L 
it starts from this place and this basically is L1 by 4 and it goes up to L2 by 3. L2 by 3 is 0.66 which again is greater than the maximum value. So this is L2 by 3. So we can have this straight line in between these two lines. Now before we start solving these options, we'll also find area of red and green regions. So area of red region will be this integral from 0 to 1 y dx and that will be x cubed by 3 minus x square plus 5x by 9 plus 17 by 36 dx it will be 1 by 12 minus 1 by 3 plus 5 by 18 plus 17 by 36 and if we will solve this, this value is 1 by 2. So basically area of red region is equal to area of green region and this area it is 1 by 2. Now we will start with the first option. Now A it says there exists an edge line between 1 by 4 and 2 by 3 such that area of green region above the line is equal to area of green region below the line LH. Now if we talk about area of green region above L2 by 3 this area it will be 1 into and this is 1 minus 2 by 3 so it will be 1 by 3 and area of green region below L2 by 3 line it will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 which is 1 by 6. So basically if this is AG1 and this is AG2 so AG1 is greater than AG2. So here the maximum value of H possible is 2 by 3 and even for this maximum value this area above this line is twice the area below this line. So these two areas they can never be equal so that means this option A it is incorrect. So this option A is not possible. Now for this option B it says there exists an H between 1 by 4 and 2 by 3 such that area of red region above the line LH equals area of red region below the line LH. Now we know that area of red region is 1 by 2 and if we take this line L1 by 4 that is if we take HS 1 by 4 then this area area below L1 by 4 it will be simply 1 by 4. Now in this case area above L1 by 4 it will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 so this line L1 by 4 itself it divides this red area into two equal parts so in this case it is possible so that means this option B is correct so we are quite fortunate that we have this line which divides this red area into two equal parts now the interesting options are options C and D now for options C and D let us consider any line LH so that's your line LH where H lies between 1 by 4 and 2 by 3 now this line will divide red area in two parts and green area in two parts now let us say the green area above this line LH it is AG positive so this green area above this line it is AG positive and green area below this line it is AG negative so we are using the notation AG positive for area green area basically green area above LH and this is green area below 
L H. Now we know that total green area is one by two, and in the same way we want to define AR positive and AR negative. Now AR positive is red area above L H, and AR negative is red area below L H, and we know that total red area is also one by two. So basically, this area. It is G positive, and below this line, this area, this is G negative, in the same way. Above this line, this is R positive, and below this line, this is R negative. Now, as L varies, A G positive, A G negative, they'll vary, and A R positive and A R negative, they'll also vary. But we know that all of them, they'll be. Continuous function. So all these areas, A G positive, A G negative, A R positive, and A R negative, they are continuous functions. Now let us take A G positive minus A R negative. When h is one by four, a g positive is one by two, and a r negative is one by four. So basically, in that case, a g positive minus a r negative it will be greater than zero. And when H is two by three. Now, in this case, when we have this H here, this A R it is one by two, and A G it is less than one by two. In that case, A G positive minus A R negative it is less than zero. Now, this A G positive minus A R negative it is a continuous function, and in between one by four and two by three, it changes sign. From positive to negative. So, from intermediate value theorem, we can say there exists some edge in the interval one by four and two by three, such that a g positive minus a r negative it is equal to zero. That is, there exists some edge where area above the green region is equal to area below the red region. That means this option C is correct, and for this option D, we have to prove that area of red region of the line L H equals area of green region below the line L H. Now we know that A G positive plus A G negative is equal to one by two, and A R positive plus A R negative is one by two. So from here we can write A G positive plus A G negative equals AR positive plus AR negative. Now, if we rearrange this, we can write AG positive minus AR negative equals AR positive minus AG negative. Now, we know that at H equals one by four, this is greater than zero. So, in that case. A R positive minus A G negative, it is greater than zero, and at H equals two by three, A R positive minus A G negative, which is equal to this value, will be less than zero. So again, from intermediate value theorem or Bolzano's theorem, we can say that there exists some edge in the interval one by four to two by three, such that. A R positive equals A G negative. That is, area of red region above the line L is equal to area of green region below the line L H. That means this option D is also correct. So the correct options are B, C, and D.